Welcome to Get Creative. I'm Shelley Hall and this is your creative news for the week of January 28, 2008. Brought to you by CreativePro.com. This week's edition is sponsored by the Art Institute of Pittsburgh, the leader in online creative arts education. So this past week, Quark announced the launch of Quark Labs. Quark touts a new site as, and I quote, your landing page for emerging software technology, seasoned technologies, and everything in between. Now the site to me is just an extension of Quark.com, and on the home page it gives you the exact same information that you would find at Quark.com pretty much. The projects page is simply a link to the most recent extensions that have been released by Quark. And Quark also did announce some new extensions that include the Quark welcome screen, which is exactly like what you've already got in the Adobe Creative Suite. Quick look filter, which enables thumbnail document previews in OS X Leopard, but it still does not work with Bridge. This is what I like to call a finally feature. Image drag and drop, another finally feature. I'm looking forward to see what other finally features will be rolling out this year in the form of extensions from the folks at Quark. So check out the new Quark Labs at labs.quark.com. Industry veteran Scott Citron has recently released an excellent book on professional design techniques for anyone that needs to be a designer but isn't classically trained. This 300-page book will get your projects moving in a direction that is pleasing on the eyes. This book is published by Peach Pit Press and is available at Amazon.com. To see more of Scott's work, head to www.citrondesign.com. I was very pleasantly surprised today when I received an email from Pantone letting me know that my Pantone Palettes 1.5 update was now available for download. This free application now works with OS X Leopard. This is the update that I have been waiting for. You may download the updated app at www.mypantone.com. So my top five websites of the week www.photoshoproadmap.com This is a site with lots of Photoshop information, unique and very fun tutorials, free Photoshop custom brushes, and a very informative section on digital photography with tips on how to choose the digital camera that's just right for you. Very cool site, so definitely go ahead and check it out. Okay, next, web analytics. Web analytics allow you to monitor traffic to your website. In general terms, web analytics is the process of collecting data about the activities of people accessing your website, how they found you, and when they visited, the pages they look at, what they bought or downloaded, etc. There's a new web analyzer tool out there called Clicky. Clicky works great with any website, and there is a free version that will monitor up to three websites for you. There are also very affordable pay plans available for sites that generally get more than a thousand hits per day. So go figure out who has been checking out your site at getclicky.com. I use this.com as a site for Mac users which allow you to discover the new Mac applications that have been recently released, updated, etc. Especially a lot of apps that have been built by smaller developers that are on a tight budget and don't have a PR specialist behind them to push their product out to the community with a big bucks press release. Find the new and useful Mac apps at www.iusethis.com. So if you love type and are interested in seeing how other creative pros have used typography, check out posttypography.com. The folks at Post specialize in creativity through typography, custom lettering, and illustration. So go get inspired by some unique typography at www.posttypography.com. So as a creative professional, you may be asked to design a document or publication for the U.S., Japan, or Europe. Each one of these publications are going to need to be set up on different paper sizes. As sizes such as 8.5 by 11 are only standard in the U.S. 
So if you're looking for a list of paper sizes for printed publications around the world, get all the international paper sizes from EDS Inc. Editorial and Design Services at, you got a tiny URL here, tinyurl.com, Y-U-9-V-C-W. So that's all the creative news I have for the week of January 28th. 2008. Special thanks to this week's sponsor, the Art Institute of Pittsburgh, the leader in online creative arts education. Be sure to check out all of our Get Creative videos at creativepro.com. This is Shelley Hall with Get Creative. Take care.